Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and this will be the first video of the entire series that I will be creating for Active Directory Federation services and in this video I'm going to talk about the first and the four most important concept that you have to understand and that is what is claim based identity. Now ADFS works on claim based identity model that's the reason it is very important for you to understand what is claim based identity before you can actually move on in setting up ADFS and working on real time scenarios or issues. Now, if you guys learn something new from this particular video, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. This actually helps to get an acknowledgement that you are really liking the content that we are posting and you want us to post more content for you. So after spending around 10 to 15 minutes on this particular video, you'll get an idea about what was the traditional method of authentication that was happening when we had Active Directory. It's still there, but ADFS is better option as compared to Active Directory. And by the end of this video, you will get an idea about that as well. The second thing that I'm going to talk about is claim based identity and why it is so important or how does it work in case of ADFS? The third and the last most important thing for this particular video will be the difference between ADFS token and Kerberos ticket. Now this is something which will actually let you know why ADFS is a better option as compared to that of Active Directory. Now if we talk about traditional methods or how the authentication was happening with Active Directory applications or by those applications which are contacting Active Directory to get the authentication. For this, let's assume we have Active Directory where we have created user accounts. There could be multiple user accounts, but let's assume there is a single user account which exists and which has name user1, email user1 at conceptswork.com, some contact number and some account name user one. Now you have three different applications which will be used by this user or which this user will access to do certain tasks. Now all these applications will contact Active Directory to complete the authentication part. Now in this case, what will happen once Active Directory has validated the credentials of the user, it will generate a curb ticket, a curb ROS ticket. And this curb ROS ticket will be sent to all the three applications. Everything is perfect till this step. But if we talk about the content of the curb ticket, it used to contain account sets, group sets, and authentication timestamp. Now, if we take a step back and what we can understand from this particular deck that it doesn't matter which application is contacting a Active Directory, the same response is sent to all the applications. Now, what do I mean by this? That let's say the first application doesn't even need group information, but it will be there in the curb ticket, which this application will be utilizing to get the authentication completed. Let's say my third application needs department attribute. Now with curb ticket, you cannot do any customization. You cannot send a specific attribute and that too for a specific application. That means what? If we talk about the traditional method which was there with Active Directory and which was there with those applications which were contacting Active Directory, there was no way wherein you can customize the curb ticket for a different set of applications. So by this deck, you can simply understand that there will be one simple curb ticket that will be utilized by all the applications who will be contacting Active Directory because you cannot customize this response which AD is sending. Now this is something which actually acts as an entry point for us to understand what is claim based identity. But before I will tell you what is claim based identity, 
there are certain things which I want to be clear and that is what exactly claim is all about now for that let's consider a scenario wherein you have Active Directory and you are creating user accounts so when you create user accounts there are certain attributes which are mandatory so likewise when you create a user account you have to enter the name of the user now whatever you will enter in that field that will get associated with the UBN and SAM account name and what will be the uh, fundamental here that there are some attributes which are already populated and there are some attributes which you manually populate likewise email of the user or contact number of the user so what is happening right now is though we are creating a user account but what is actually happening under the hood a object is getting created in Active Directory with certain attributes that means all these values which are either getting automatically populated or you are manually updating them on user account these are called attributes and guess what all these attributes are called claims in ADFS identity model so you guys might have already working with ADFS and when very common interaction which you might have with any of your application vendor is that they might came up to you and said that I need employee ID or department or a specific attribute for a particular user now this in identity world actually means that you have to make a configuration on ADFS that should send the department attribute to that particular application in the token so the acknowledgement which AD gives to application is called curb ticket the acknowledgement which ADFS gives to application is called token now let's understand how exactly this claim based identity model works in ADFS so you get you got the idea about claims now when you have an entity or an identity provider that uses claims that means any attribute that is associated with the user object is called the exactly claim based identity model now let's talk about why ADFS or why ADFS is a better option as compared to that of Active Directory now let's say you have Active Directory wherein you have created a user account and the same user account will be accessing the three set of applications but in this case when you have ADFS these applications will contact ADFS instead of going directly to your AD now ADFS will contact Active Directory on behalf of user get the authentication done and guess what ADFS can customize the response which will be sent to all these applications that means if application 1 needs certain attribute that will be sent only to application 1 that means for a specific application you can define rules or you can have a configuration on ADFS that will only send a specific set of attributes to that particular application and as I said before this acknowledgement which Active Directory Federation service gives to application is called token let's discuss this with one more example and things will be clear that I have a user account which has name user1 email user1 at conceptswork.com some contact number some account name user1 department research and this user works in India now my first application needs name email and only location of this particular user object so what ADFS will do it will only send these three attributes to the application what if my second application needs only department attribute apart from name and email the same customization will be done for second application and as you can see here the response which ADFS is sending to both the applications are different 
that means if my first application doesn't need department attribute that will not be sent to the first application now this is exactly claim based identity model wherein you are actually controlling the claims which your identity provider or which your adfs is sending to the respective set of applications now let's talk about the basic difference between curb ticket and adfs token the very first one is it includes group and account sets and this will be there in every curb ticket now if we talk about adfs any attribute that is populated for a user object can be sent in the token whereas in curb ticket or in curb ross tickets it is not possible second point your application has to contact ad directly whereas in adfs the adfs is actually placed in between your application and active directory the third point is you cannot customize any set of attributes that should be sent to a specific application whereas in adfs you can do all the customization available and that to application specific this was the first video wherein i have tried to give you an idea about how adfs work and this is the basic building block for you to start with adfs that adfs is something that works on the identity model of claim based identity so if i talk about the summary of this video we have covered traditional methods claim based identity difference between curb ticket and adfs token in the next video i'm going to talk about prerequisites that are required before you can proceed with the installation and configuration so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you have any suggestion query or feedback please feel free to reach me at learnconceptswork at gmail.com and make sure that you subscribe if you have learned something new and we will keep on posting more free content for you thank you so much bye bye